going on pros this is mike with another dirty promotion video i'm going to be doing some instruction on tinting this 2021 side door is very typical 2018 and probably even older models are the same we're going to go ahead and uh i'm going to go ahead and hand cut it uh computer uh pattern that's what we do but it's very easy but we're going to hand cut it and then additionally to give you uh, some very very juicy video um this gentleman right here from uh i think it's uh, miami florida has this company and he has a dash towel that he wants me to review so the very first thing i'm gonna do is throw this guy into washing machine at least one time and i'm gonna see what's going on with that i'm gonna dry it all that stuff is gonna be out of camera i'm gonna go ahead and get started with this and then i'll put this protector in the back it's gonna tint the windshield but uh tinting the windshield probably the shrink and all that I'll do it in small sections because I don't want it to be a fucking hour and a half video. I want it to be like a perhaps a 30 minute video. So I'm going to be cutting off and on as I go along. So that's that. Thanks a lot for sending me the product for review. And uh, some lucky person after I review it, uh, I probably will gift it to them um, in the comments and all that kind of stuff. Not that I don't like it or don't need it. It's just that, you know, uh, I want to make it very, very special for other people. And uh, gifted to them for being followers. Me myself, you know, I'm. I can buy my own. It's not a problem. But somebody's gonna get lucky, right? All right. So, hand cutting this deal. We're gonna go ahead and put this thing on the exterior. And let me grab perhaps um one of these right here. Okay, what's going on with that pattern is that that pattern belonged to a vehicle, but it was the wrong film. Uh, he upgraded to a more expensive one. This happens to be a dirty carbon film, carbon 35%, uh, excellent film. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this area because it has dust, as you can see, all this dust and whatever. I'm trying to get just the uh, contaminants that are here just a little bit out of the way and there. So that pattern that they messed up, I'm just going to re, I'm going to use it because it is larger. I already kind of measured it. So we're going to do it and just imagine this is a square pattern and we're going to go forward. Okay. So one of the things that I see myself and whatever, this right here, people will tend to make cuts that have a curve. So when they lower it down, that fucking chunk of film missing and then go that way. So we'll try and work around that a little bit. This one has a little bit of a deep pocket and it's a little bit tight so we're gonna have to work with that um that's about it nothing else uh we're gonna put our door guard by dirty tools in here um i am gonna go ahead and show you how to pry it back um or if you're gonna two stage it two stage it i don't like to do that because it just increases my risk of the the but it'll end trail and bullshit here creases and whatever it's just me it's not that you can't do it there's a lot of people that have the ability it's just that I don't have time to be fucking around with dirt and creases. I just don't. If it takes me 30 seconds to show you what I'm going to show you in a little bit. And then we'll take it from there. Put this guy in here. And like I said, he's a little bit excess. So we're good there. So since he already has a bottom cut, I'm just going to go and use the bottom there. Just be careful it doesn't. Yeah, there you go. Bottom is pretty much where I want it to be at. So we'll go ahead and anchor them just here because if i anchor the whole window then i'm gonna have to unstick everything to slide it over and i don't want to do that man where the fuck's my blade here it is all right there's my blade it needs about two clips out put them in here for right now go ahead and get started So, in order for us to overcome any cuts that are bad and whatever, let's go ahead and slide it over enough, right? So, we're going to slide it about perhaps half an inch. And I'll, obs I'll observe when I lower it down if there's any monkey business going on. Okay, we're there, good. And uh, we're going to lock it into place uh, just here. Because this right here... You know this cut you can kind of make uh in the air you, i can see through so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and put my blade here and cut around here instead of cutting here because i really don't want no gap of light 
even if I tried to, when I make this cut, I'm gonna have something, right? And sideways, you can probably see it, so I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna do this, like I'm mentioning. Do it kind of like in the air, do that bullshit. And that's about it, and uh, maybe a little bit more. I'm cutting on the gasket, okay, that way. Uh, and this rubber gasket, don't worry about it, just go ahead and kind of like, you can always pull the film and cut at the same time, so my film is really over like uh, more than a quarter inch to the side and that to me is important because I don't want to gap a light there lower it down lower it down enough and then also monkey with this deal like put it the most you can that way so you can make your complete cut and there he is I'm going to go ahead and uh, start here at the top for right now and I'll, sh I'll tell you why in a little bit okay so He's about there, and I'm gonna go and walk outside with this guy. Okay, so we got that guy there right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and hand cut this over there. I mean, finish trimming it off over there. So here is good. We're gonna go ahead and do this number right here. Right there, and then get your film. And start right here. And just go ahead and do a continuation and uh, let me get my two clicks and then all the way across as fast as you can if you want slower slower and then move the glass like from here move the glass because I don't like I, I want to do and mimic the glass cut what I don't like is I don't want to stop here and then go out there and do a monstrous fucking half-ass horrible fucking round thing here that's horrible to look at so I already did that did that come here move this out of the way for a second move this out of the way for a second do this right here do this right here it's got dirt so as you can see right here trimming this hand over there like right here in the bottom so I don't have no gaps of like over here no I don't want that so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and trim this motherfucker out right about here okay uh, a little bit more as far as I can see there there it is nice and clean that's already there this guy right here trimming off kind of like all right, this guy is hidden about a quarter or more this way, so I'm not worried there. At the top, it barely did that, so I'm just gonna round it off. And you're gonna see the end product, it's gonna look real clean. So there is your hand cut, and I know people can do it faster and all that, but that's not the point here, we're not racing. That, that. Um, peel up um, the whole thing, grab it from here. So let's go ahead and put our guard down here. I'm gonna lower this just so I can have room. And this is uh, a way to do it, to cover it when I can. This, this sweep is attached to this panel, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And I told a lot of people to look for places to insert them. And there is one place to insert it real nice, there. And um, since people wanna see, hey Mike, I wanna do this, I wanna do that with a door guards and I can't I don't have a whole lot of videos on on doing a two-stage kind of a uh, you know installing the panels because I remove the sweeps 99% of the time but in this particular case I can't remove the sweep so he's there water coverage is 100% all good so we're gonna start removing this guy out of here and there he flies off Okay, so here he is, the clips are there. The reason I don't want to be yanking is because this pressure, this hard pressure is a lot better than yanking because it'll leave a stress mark when you do this or it might tear something and yeah, we don't want to do that. That's there. This guy right here, do that number right there. There you go, take him out with the fingernails. Pretty easy, get him, put him right here where you can see him. Put this back in there, that way. We can raise them a little bit up. Remember what we're doing, what I'm doing here. 
there is a panel metal here and then this guy goes over him like this right and there's your gasket so all i want to do is i want to i want to pull him up and rest him here if i do this is it be very hard for me to return it i've done that fucker before and i'm gonna have to remove the panel do it i don't want to do it so i'm gonna go in and pull it up a little bit put my little thing here so it keeps it away from the thing and if you ask me these are just wooden things it could be a squeegee but this i like better i'm selling them for a thousand dollars uh on my on my web uh you know store thousand dollars because you can do it yourself you, there's no need to buy them if you need to buy them thousand bucks there it is i'm just fucking with you okay there it is and then let's go over here and do the same thing get another one and put them over here mm -hmm. And so we got space, all the space that we need so we can bottom load them right here. So the guys, um, so you can do air peel with your hand or you can do a board if you got it. And please, I'm just gonna ask you if you guys wanna increase from let's say 83% quality to 89, 92, 94 quality, then please follow the next direction that we're gonna do. Okay, so this is just typical scrub pad 3M, uh, nothing special. Carbon window film dirties carbon, extremely black, extremely factory matching you know like 30 percent more heat block than standard die film and it's really 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 popular with the people that are buying it they they see the dye and they see the carbon and they cost the same right now and they're really just jumping all over the carbon because of the performance specs are a little bit better customers will pay you a lot more for the carbon okay well actually i'm going to put a sticker so let me do this real quick out of the way Got one of these guys in here. Sticker. There it goes to the floor. We'll go ahead and do this. Here at the bottom, it's a Texas legal sticker. When a customer asks for it, we install it. So here we are. Start at the top, all this kind of stuff, whatever contamination it touched up here, I, I don't want it seeping into my film, the top. So you guys want to increment that from 84% quality to like 90, 89, 92. We're, we're always trying for 100, but it's almost never, you know, it has to be, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't happen most of the time. You can get 99, you can get 98 and all that kind of good numbers, but looking, 100% or 99, 98 consistently, it's kind of hard. I'll sell it for 96 any day. Remember what we talk about? We talk about the uh, that diminishing returns theory. You spend uh, an hour trying to get 99% and eh, not worth it. Huh? A lot of the times, customers don't notice that extra 2% most of the time. We got that deal going, roll it down. Okay. And we're gonna apply this guy right here. Oh, what I asked you was that, if you've already done such a great job of um, cutting the film and prepping it and all that kind of stuff do not touch the window film because the next step that's going to happen is that people are going to grab here and grab fear and you already fucked everything up i mean it's kind of like you did everything and then you touched it and that's not good so we're going to do this put them here all the way down like i said uh we can go a lot faster on the install if I wouldn't be talking and concentrating on all the steps that I'm trying to relate to everybody. So I have to do it a lot slower. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Okay, put this guy way in there. And put this guy way in here. Oh, uh, there you go. And move him up to his position. There it is. Micro, 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 nice micro edge. We're done there. Dirty tense carbon right here. I use everything I sell. Okay, so we're done there. I'm gonna go ahead and use our all-in-one. This is one of my older models. It's just that I, since I, I don't want to throw it away. I keep on using it. My new prototype is uh, that lime green, not prototype, but the new one, the new model, so that people won't lose it in their cars and shit like that. Because it's an expensive tool, very effective as you can see. So we're done there. Roll it up, and that's it. Oh. All in one meaning that um, you can do the sides, tuck the bottom, and if you just are in a hurry or whatever, you can actually use just get that water out. That's the reason for the tape, right? So you can do that deal. Be sure that every time you go down here, there's crap and crud and dust down there that I couldn't touch. So when you go up and you do this, you're gonna be blaming this to scratch it. No, just go ahead and do it on your t-shirt or something or your rag, which is really more appropriate. And then do your thing here, all the way down, there, and then there, 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 and there. And you're not going to get a single scratch because there's no dust on your tools that will scratch it, right? So we're done there. We're on the sticker. We need just a little bit more water right there. And that's it, my man. We're going to go ahead and move to the windshield. I will cut this video and paste it, of course, with the windshield. And of course, uh, this right here, because it's coming up next. Let's go ahead and uh, move this guy out here. There, he's back in there, there, back in there. And I'm gonna put these where they belong, right there. And uh, this right here. Put him exactly where I got him from. Right there, let me see. I'm gonna lower this down. This guy is lacking a little bit this way, so there you go. Now he's all the way in there. This guy now. Put this guy here. Here. That way he can be there momentarily. We're going to remove our sweep from there. And like I mentioned, uh, no water here on the side, obviously, because it went this way. But that's it. Everything is controlled as far as the water goes. So it's good and I didn't get to show you the uh, finished product because I was in a hurry to try and get this guy washed and in there but anyway the finished product is pretty much the top as you can see there and then we're gonna go outside and see what I was discussing as far as like my edges there's nothing here on the sides that are like uh, ant trails and creases and cuts it's all the way in because I did cut them a little bit more here in the rubber as far as I can see so I make my cut make the cut in the air grab my film and I can cut like right here and then just walk them down like this when I'm pulling and that'll be that right so your film is way in there as you can see right there you can see it right there uh, there's no handprints where there usually are like here little because I didn't touch a film films all the way to the top micro micro edge all good sides all good sides I mean this is what you should expect when you do either a pattern cut from the computer you lay them in like that I didn't remove the panel. I did not remove the sweep because this sweep is integrated with the panel, but we do the pry back, okay? Some people say there is a screw here behind and you can remove it to do this, but from our experience, that thing is not so tight that we can still remove this, this out of the way, and just pry it back. And as you already saw me do the thing, the thing, and then drop it. I would rather you guys do that a million times instead of two staging because it's then it's horrible and you're asking me hey, how can I control these things the way to control a lot of the problems is really just bottom loading and I showed you you put your cover you're away from these problems oh, this is plastic this plastic when water falls in here you really don't know what's going to happen if it's going to fry some of this because it's going to go straight into the circuitry okay that's 
we want to do. If you guys want to tape it, you can do whatever you want for as long as it's protected. Don't worry about the door guards or anything. It's just a piece of information so that we move forward in the industry. And if a customer walks in here and sees all this bullshit fucking dirty as fuck, uh, you can't upsell yourself out of $99, $99 tent because it, your jobs look, your performance looks like fucking $99. Okay, so this help integrate it into your system into your thing and then it all looks better for the customer not to be like assuming that man you're really not taking care of my shit anyway that's it let me go ahead and go over there all right um i have shrunk the uh, windshield and cut it it's all there i'm gonna go around the light there and uh the shrinking i have a lot of videos on shrinking what we're gonna do today is illustrate perhaps a lay of the film here and how to control contamination i have seen some posts that are kind of like concerning to me that have contamination on the windshield people do not know where it's coming from kind of see the way that i do it and you're gonna see the after deal after i'm done if uh if yours is with a lot of contaminations and of course we're already assuming that you have your inline filters and all that kind of bullshit and water that is clean enough and your environment is not a fucking warehouse where there's a lot of running dust and whatever Assuming all those things are taken care of, then the other thing would be the preparation and the delivery, which is the lay. All that kind of stuff is going to be dearly important. So I'm going to Cali roll this thing and whatever. So I am also reviewing the uh, gentleman's uh, dash cover from Miami. Uh, I believe it's called Dash Protector. Okay, so um, as I was saying, I did wash according to uh, Rick McIntyre, what he told me to wash it. See if that, uh, you know, wash... Uh, uh, dash cover can take a little bit of abuse because it's got some different components in there and it's got something sewn in there So maybe if it doesn't take that uh, Washing pretty well, then maybe not recommended, but we don't know yet uh, Here it is. I washed it one time not a, a gazillion times and it's right here in the wall when I first kind of like uh, Heard about it. I had no idea what it was gonna look like when the ropes and this and that so here's the deal so either one way or the other so to me already this is a super brilliant brilliant idea of sewing in this stuff in here this material we're gonna see i've had ideas about doing one thing or another with this but uh i didn't know uh, so i didn't want to go forward with that much so this one we're gonna try out see how it does and one of the positives about this deal is that the guys kind of thought of the contour thing. It has a little bit of contour on both. As you can see here, because it's hanging straight, but this one, it has a little bit of contour. Fatter rope sewed in, skinnier rope sewed in. Uh, this stuff is supposed to go in the frontal area, um, I guess to protect water from seeping into the uh, dash. So uh, I already dried it out there. It is dry here. Uh, it is a pretty good uh, material as far as uh, being a, uh, being heavy and all that good quality so let's go ahead and bring it in here put it in the dash and see what is it going to do uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. perhaps this guy right here okay so i go in here and the fir very first thing we're going to do is of course we're going to put it on <sighs> so i guess it doesn't matter which is the right or wrong way but okay so this is a Toyota Tacoma okay it's about 10 inches smaller than your next available pickup I like the uh, Ford and all those kind of things I want you to keep that in mind okay so we're gonna put this guy the way he's intended to put up there and I know that the rope is the key to locking in this deal so I got my thing here okay there it is all the way to the corner there and um so if any water is going to be seeping down there it's going to be captured by the rope that is the whole idea this guy right here now the other thing the guys mentioned was that this type of um thing uh was light white 
which is white so that when you pre-cut your patterns you could see what's going on in the front right so So I trust their judgment. I'm going to go ahead and pull this guy. I'm going to pull this guy a little bit this way because it's lacking. There's a speaker here. Oh, there you go. Just that much. So I'll continue putting the rope here. And kind of like pull as much as I can this way so I can. There's a little stupid speaker right there. And I don't want to get it wet. I don't want to get it wet. He's, oh, Mike, you're fucking finish putting it on. Hey, okay. this is a new device. This is right to the edge. He's right there. And uh, let me see if I can straighten my. Okay, I'm going to put this rope out of the way. And there he is. He's tucked all the way down. And this cloth right here. Here you go, white. Nice. So the tucking uh, will make this uh, product uh, be held in place because this one is a little bit heavy, but it's held on. So all good. Uh, the very first thing that I can see right off the bat is that it's going to lack. Um, I know that my friend said that from Miami said that it had a patent on it. You're going to need to go and rework and redo your patent because this is a little bit short. And I'm telling you this because of what I cut, it's like 50 some inches. This is lacking at least 10 inches from your Ford, Chevy, and that kind of stuff. So this is a good sedan. Or, well, I, I'm not even sure it's good for a sedan because this is a very small truck, 54 inches. And the Ford pickups are like 62 as far as what we need as far as coverage. I know because I've used a lot of dash things and beach shells and whatever. And, you know, I already know the measurements. So anyway, so it's lacking some stuff here. How you can go around it, get one of these fluffy things, put it in there, but that's not the point. I'm just telling the developers one of the things they need to do. So I'm going to go, uh, I need to clean it, go outside, Cali roller breeding inside. So I'm going to go ahead and start working with the water that I'm going to be working with. Here it is. And then see how this thing is going to take the, uh, take the water absorption or where the water goes and all that kind of stuff. So. Now, I want you to observe that I'm only going to use the amount of water that I'm that I recommend using. A lot of people are very happy with fucking tanks and and all that and I don't use tanks and none of that bullshit. Uh, I sell them a lot because people love them. I love them for back windows and commercial, but an autos I think it's a little bit overkill, but don't quote me on that. There's a lot of people that do it very very successfully as far as the tank shit goes, so just not me. I'm not a tank guy. And I'm not going to pretend I am a tank guy to sell you something. There it is. That amount of water is as happy as I'm going to get. Put my guy here. And then I go do this. I'm just going to finish cleaning it and be out of video. Roll it. Come back in here. No Mickey Mouse, nothing. And then we'll see uh, at the end when we pull it and everything that's going to go on. Uh, this right here uh, is covering the uh, wheel, which is good, but it's still lacking some stuff as I mentioned. So uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Give me a... Okay, so I'm about to do the lay. I already prepped it as far as clean. As you can see right here, uh, some of the pillar here got wet. It's going to dry momentarily. Okay, now uh, one of the features that this had is uh, the gentleman quoted that he put the white... Thing. he could have had any color but he chose white because uh, ref reflection of the white light makes it easier for a person to cut and that is 100% true as I will show you right now so this is the outside and you can see when you put it on there first I, I need to squish that rope more in there you can see pretty much that there is your way to cutting so that is a 100% true statement but more if more importantly it is actually effective what he did so that's pretty important okay there is a rope thing i got my film here this is okay that's on the inside so go ahead and do one thing real quick here there you go 150 miles and already has a chip on the outside there i saw it a little while ago so we're good to go 
Okay, your delivery. Here's your film. Let's go ahead and put some water there. This is the same amount of water that I do in my own videos and because I never would like to mess up anything that's under there and people keep asking what vehicles are good or bad. Like, guys, that is not a very good question. It's kind of like when you have sex with a girl and you say, well, this girl looks pretty clean enough. I'm not going to wear a condom. Same fucking concept. Use your intelligence to cover every single vehicle because you do not know what vehicle is going to have any problems in the back. So I'm not going to guess at it. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. I cover every single vehicle with a rope and them um, and a uh, dash cover there and all that kind of stuff so we're gonna open it in here about yay much reverse roll get this guy in here and you hear a lot of uh, grunting and growling is just me that trying to fit myself doing this cali roll on my own all right all the all the guys that do mobile and all that kind of stuff on your own uh, you don't need anybody to hold the film for you. You can pretty much do everything on your own. And that's why I'm doing the videos on what is this, what is that. Exactly what's going on here is the tips and tricks, right? Okay, so this guy is kind of heavy, so I'm going to try and already get him out of the way. And then I'm going to keep on rolling it. Okay, make contact with the glass. And make sure he's aligned where it needs to be at so when you're done here i'm gonna go ahead and okay there you go all that good stuff okay keep on unrolling this guy i really don't want him to touch that mirror there you go and then pop him up there just like there you go just a little bit better success to try and keep it clean right get this guy out of the way kind of okay manage the film with a lot of care because you can get a little crease in the middle and oh that'll that'll doom your install especially tesla guys that what's this what's that there's no real answer for that it's, it's oh sir it's called a crease it's called a fucking crease okay everything's pretty much aligned i'm gonna move this guy a little bit to the right that way my film doesn't touch the pillar that's a little trick mm, there up as you can see there is a rope so i'm trying to keep it over the rope and i did and then make contact and then squish him where it needs to go which is this way and when it covers the light i'm good we're good here we're good there there you go now it's aligned remember when we make a cut we make a cut here so make sure the alignment's good and when the alignment is good and everything else is in place you're pretty much good to go man so as I mentioned hundreds of times before, massage your window film into place. That way when you do, do a squeegee, you don't have a dry spot and then you're going to crease the fuck out of it. And there goes your hard work, man. We don't want that. Okay, as you can see, my water is very controlled. And there we go. And I know you guys can do it in five minutes. That's great. There you go. It was a little bit not straight. There you go. There you go. Now it's covering that gap of light right there. There it's good. Perfect. 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 So let's start. Center and out. Okay. Center and up. There you go. this out of the way a little bit do your dots very good there all the way there 
I'm gonna push some of the water down so it will go into the rope and not into the there because I don't know what's there. All the way down, all the way down. It's almost touching the bottom, so we're good there. I'm trying to keep this water from not going over there, so kind of like that. There you go. It's really, 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 really clean here. Uh, I'm very satisfied. Um, sometimes um, it doesn't come out as clean um, and we have to replace it. But you know what? Instead of gambling and doing all that bullshit, do your preparation right from the first time. It's something that I myself have to had to learn along the way. And that's what I want to pass along to you so you don't have to blow thousands of dollars of window film. Okay, so I, I locked it in place there, so there's no need for me to be squishing water there anymore. So I'm going to do it down, 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 down. And this squeegee is very light and goes all the way down, so I don't need to do too many. You know, just like here, and we're down. And the window helps because it's small. So I'll swipe the bottom in a little bit. Straight up. Straight up. Here, the same thing. It's very, 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 very clean. All this area is coming out very clean, so I'm very, very happy with these results. And the results of what? Uh, very good prep. And that to me is direly, direly important because I want to do one wham bam, thank you, ma'am, and be out of here. Okay, so I'm done with the installation. Let me dry this thing right here. I need something from my from my tool pouch so I'm going to get it real quick something that I need to use there on the sides okay here it is so this guy right here we're just going to use here in the sides there just absorb some of the water there 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 and here as you can see right there and all that that I can't reach with my other tools we're gonna do this all the way down and he is all the way down okay he's all pretty much done okay gonna remove the cover here I'm not worried about pulling the film up because I I don't do it way too low so if we wanted dryness we accomplished it very very good um, I'm very happy um now i already knew what i was going to say before the video ended but the design is marvelous um it's really brilliant it really is because it has two sides one for the bigger rope the other side for the smaller rope and uh the things that i know that are going to be a little bit of a not so good is that this right here I used it on one is your everybody knows you go and go somewhere and you wring this out and then uh, let it dry out and perhaps use it okay on this one if you're able to wring it out and I'm sure that maybe yes then wring it out and have success because my thing is that you use it more than one time and actually this cloth feels a little bit heavy so it might be a waterproof cloth that I can see it kind of is but it feels a little bit heavy so maybe it might absorb something so my whole point here is that maybe a couple of uses and you might need to rest it for a while put it somewhere that it's drier and drier and you'll be done and so you might need to buy two or three units especially guys like myself to do tons of these units I do I do a lot of wind chills on a daily and so I might need to keep two or three of these guys so let's say uh everything about it i like oh the other thing i almost forgot because of the fact that it has this dual thing which is this and this uh one small detriment that i noticed while i was going in and out is that because when, when i put it up there there's so much of it hanging down here uh let's say about right here that me when i'm getting on there i accidentally touch it and this one this is a little bit of a plasticky material it touches my leg or my pant and and i seem to move it so Maybe for some guys, 
depending on what car you're going to be working on it might be too long that's my whole point it might be too long for the legs to be like kind of like grabbing it and moving your shit out of the way and and i i think everybody's seen typical towels that normally reach around there so you got leg room and on this one you don't because it does hang more and so that's that so brilliant brilliant design and some minor setbacks one is a little bit too short for all the vehicles and the other is that it, it will absorb water you need multiple units perhaps and then the length here on this vehicle or even Ford or whatever as you can see how long it is um, then it's going to be like you're going to have to figure out how to tuck it or do something else that's it other than that like i said genius design several flaws uh on the design so guys go to the patent people and redo one that perhaps might or leave it alone don't matter it's just to me it's a dirty review i want people to see what i am looking at and perhaps they'll tell me yeah man you're fucking right or you're fucking wrong they'll tell me so i can feel it wet right here use very minimal water some other people are very water happy and that shit happens and that's it man guys from miami florida you have a hell of a product with some minor things to work on and if you take that uh thing and you work on those things perhaps uh it'll be a much improved product everything else that i discussed right on point guys have an awesome day gopro stop recording